Hey, it's Nomad from Gamesmithing, and today we're going to show you a little bit more about our next upcoming update, Frostborn Wrath. Seven new epic grade weapons, new enemies, and a new soundtrack was added on the Frozen Wastelands map. And a new very cool quality of life improvement that has been asked to be implemented by the community. Before we dive a little deeper into the finer details of these additions, I'd like to say as always that all that you are about to see and hear is a work in progress and is subject to change. Soulstone Survivors is still an early access title and very much still in development. With that out of the way, let's get it. First, I'd like to showcase our new quality of life improvement that was mentioned before. You can now view a list of all available skills that your character will have access to during gameplay, so you can more easily know what to look for without having to guess work or look around too much for what skills can show up to you. Our next big addition to this update are 7 new purple grade or epic weapons. First up, I'd like to show Azramiel's Blessing, the Chaos Walker's weapon. It offers you, with crit damage, carry a modifier and multicast chance, at the cost of minus 10 max health and minus 10 extra health per crystal. And it offers the skill Ripple of Light, which creates a holy energy circle around the player that expands and shrinks, dealing damage twice when it expands and when it shrinks. The cool little twist here is that the damage that this skill does is multiplied by 3 on critical strikes. Azramiel's special skill is Sanctified Orb, which is a skill that fires a massive orb in the direction you're aiming at, launching a bunch of extra little orbs as it flies through. It also applies disoriented. Now, Widow's Embrace, which is the Beastmaster's new weapon, offers you more crit damage, armor power, cast frequency at the cost of movement speed, which can be a little bit rough since Beastmaster is already a bit slow, but manageable. It offers you two new skills as well, Spider Cocoon, which leaves a cocoon in the ground that hatches when stepped on, spawning three spiders to fight for you. These spiders also explode after 15 seconds, applying weakness on explosion. Its special skill is Spider Queen. You summon one Spider Queen that spits poison bombs at your enemies, applying weakness as well. It's a good note here that both these skills have the summon tag on them. The Necromancer's new weapon, Green Talon Scourge, offers you more crit damage, cast frequency and multicast chance at a cost to max health. It also brings two new skills, Murder of Crows, which releases two crows that fly around you, dealing a random amount of damage and applying a powerful negative effect. Its special skill is Carrion Crows. It fires a wave of crows dealing random damage and an extra 10% damage for each negative effect the enemy has. The rest of the weapons I will leave for you guys to explore further once the update drops. I also left another surprise for the end, saving the best for last. The Death Knight and the Beastmaster now have their own ascension tree with their own perks and quirks for you to explore. Let's just say that one of them involves sacrificing the souls of his victims in a dark ritual to invoke something. Aside from all of these, you also get to explore another zero cost room, just like the Gambler room that is shown in our previous video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Please do go watch our Frostborn Wrath Runes video. Loads of cool new runes there for you to see as well. That is all fine and dandy, but you might have noticed that playing in the background here, I got some footage of the frozen wastelands, but now we got new enemies roaming around, which fit the thematic and the fantasy of this map way more than the enemies that were here before. Some of the new enemies that you can fight are the Frostborn Warrior, the big blue fellow with a mace here, the Vulture, which is a flying creature, the Frostborn Archer, the Ice Elemental, a Witch, even a Werewolf, and much more. And for the soundtrack enjoyers, we also got a new soundtrack for it as well. The new soundtrack will also be added into the soundtrack DLC, but I can't make any promises as to when exactly that will happen for now. So, this is what we wanted to show you all for this sneak peek part 2. Thank you so much for the continued support you have been giving us. If you would also like to leave feedback directly where the devs will read them, please consider joining our Discord server. Link will be down in the description of the video. Thank you so much for watching and until the next one, survivors. So